In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to export a sound file from Audacity. Uh, I have here a stereo recording which I have finished working on. Uh, I've applied uh, a fade in at the start, a fade out at the end. I've added a little bit of silence. Uh, I've trimmed off the bits that I don't want. And overall, I'm reasonably happy with the way it sounds. Uh, so now uh, what I need to do is uh, export the file. Uh, but the first thing that I need to consider is what kind of file I need to export. Uh, if I want the final track, for example, uh, as an MP3 file, then I can do that in Audacity, uh, assuming that I've downloaded and installed uh, the correct add-on. Uh, and I would do that by choosing Export MP3 uh, from the file menu. Uh, if the final track is for audio CD, on the other hand, uh, then I'll want to export it in the right format for CD. Uh, that is, with a bit depth of 16 bits and a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz. Audacity has an export as WAV uh, option, uh, and most audio CD burning applications will let you import WAV files and burn them to CD. Uh, so that's the option I should choose. But first, uh, we need to make sure that the WAV file we export is going to be the correct format for CD. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to the Edit menu and choose Preferences and then go to the File Formats tab. Now, uh, I've got a number of options here in the menu that's entitled Uncompressed Export Format, uh, and the one that I want is WAV, Microsoft 16-bit PCM. OK. That ensures that the file we export will be 16-bit now, uh, the sample rate. Audacity uh, will export files at whatever sample rate is shown here, where it says uh, project rate. Uh, in this case, uh, I can see that it's already set to 44.1 kilohertz, uh, which is correct for CD. Uh, but if I needed to change the export sample, that's where I'd do it. Having made those settings, uh, I can then choose export as WAV from the file menu. navigate to the right location and, as always, give the file a name that summarises the processing that I've done. Uh, I'm going to call this one uh, band spaced pair cardioid, that's fine, uh, 16b for 16-bit and 44.1k uh, and then I'm going to give it uh, the suffix in the file name edited for cd and then save. Now, in exporting the file for CD, what I've actually done is reduce the sound quality to 16 bits. I'll probably also want to export a higher quality file as a backup, so that uh, if I want to do some further processing on it later, I won't have lost uh, that audio fidelity unnecessarily. Audacity does all of its internal digital audio processing at 32-bit, uh, and our original recording had a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. So if I export a 32-bit 44.1 uh, kilohertz WAV file, then that will ensure that I have the highest quality backup file possible. So I'm going to go back to the Edit menu, Preferences, File Formats tab, and from the Uncompressed Export Format menu, I'm now going to select uh, WAV, Microsoft 32-bit float. OK, and then file and re-export uh, with a different file name. This time it is 32 and I'm going to give it the suffix edited backup. And finally, save the project. So now, if I go back to my folder, uh, I will see that I have the file that I exported for CD. Uh, that's been exported at 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. I also have uh, the file which I backed up at 32 bits. I also have uh, the original file and the backup that I made of the original file.
and the Audacity project file and the backup file which Audacity automatically makes of its own projects.